Hi everyone, it's Alice and welcome to this vlog. I feel like it's been ages since I did a vlog. It might not have been that long ago. I think I did a decorating vlog like at the beginning of December and I didn't really do any reading in that but today there will be some reading and also some organizing. It's my first day back home after Christmas. I spent like three days at my dad's house and I'm now back. Very happy to be back and it's been a nice Christmas. I hope all of you had a nice Christmas as well but I am done with it now and so I want to like get rid of my tree and all of my other decorations and just put it into storage and get everything back to how it usually looks and I'm also unpacking like my stuff from having been at my dad's house and I'm unpacking my gifts as well and I thought since we're here I would show you what I got. I'm the kind of person who like I need to unpack pretty soon after I get home from somewhere because sometimes I will just leave things for months if I don't do it right away and so I want to do it. I do also really want to read today though and knowing myself I think it's a good idea to organize some of the stuff before I start reading because if I start reading I will probably not do any of the other things but the book I'm reading right now is great I'm really enjoying it but yeah we need to do some unpacking first. I'll show you the book in a little bit but I thought since we're here I would show you what I got for Christmas and I feel like the gifts that you get for Christmas and what you wish for <laughs> for Christmas and for birthdays I guess is sort of representative of where you are in your life and I feel like I have reached peak adulthood because everything I got was very much just like only stuff that adults get excited about getting but I am excited about it because I am an adult and I got a lot of cooking stuff which I'm very happy with. The first thing I got is this which is a pasta machine which is very exciting and I love the little note that came with it. One of my friends got this for me, one of my best friends and it says Merry Christmas to my favorite person in life which is very nice but I got this pasta machine and if you know me at all you would know that I love pasta and I eat it a lot and it would be fun to like make it from scratch. I have actually made pasta from scratch before. I've made like ravioli which is so good but it is a lot of work to make and I think this will make it easier which is very exciting. It can make like spaghetti, fettuccine and like plates that you can use for like lasagna but also ravioli. That's very exciting but I also got this set of knives. <laughs> <laughs> which I did like ask for some knives and like a block to put it in because I think I have quite a lot of knives and they like make a mess in the drawer that they're in and I thought this could look better. I really like the wood and the black and yeah you know it's knives so <laughs> for me that's exciting and also something that is not super exciting maybe but it's exciting to me. I got a pan for cooking obviously and I just wanted one of these like deep pans and I got it which is very exciting for an adult. The last like cooking related thing that I got is this which is like I don't know what this is called in English but it's one of those things that you grind pepper with so a pepper grinder or is it a grinder? I don't know but you know what this is. And I also got the pepper to put in it, which I thought was pretty funny. I do kind of want one of these for salt as well, but I don't know how much I'll use it, but very happy with this. It'll make cooking easier and I do like cooking, so anything to make it easier is great. I did get a couple of things that is not like cooking related. I got this jewelry box, which is great. I love organizing that kind of thing and I have a lot of stuff and it's very unorganized now so this will be great to use and I did actually get a book which I'm a little surprised by because usually even though I love books I don't really get them for Christmas or for my birthday for whatever reason. The book that I got is a book in Norwegian it's this one which is called Etterklang by Helga Flatland. I have seen this around it appears to be one of like the bigger books or at least one of those books that got pushed for Christmas this year and it's gotten some really 
good reviews and it looks very interesting. I can try to like translate what it says on the back here. It's about this teacher who is working at a high school in Oslo and she gets fired when someone discovers that she's having a relationship with one of her students and at the same time the capital shuts down. So I'm assuming it's because of the like pandemic or whatever and this woman wants to get out of the city and she gets she sort of gets out of the city and decides to rent a house in a place in Norway called Telemark, which is like a county or like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's in the country, basically. And I guess it's just about that and the people that she meets there. And then there's also some sort of accident, which I don't know what that is, but I guess I'll have to read it to find out. I am always interested to read more books in Norwegian, so that's exciting. I also very rarely read new releases in Norwegian, so that's fun. I'm pretty sure this came out this year. I also really like this cover. This is like traditional Norwegian rose painting. I think it might have some sort of connection with the place that she goes to, if I remember correctly. I don't quite know. <laughs> now, I'm gonna take like stuff out of their boxes and put them somewhere where I can fit them and then I also want to spend a little bit of time taking down my Christmas decorations. I want to take down my tree and all of that and just, you know, get rid of it. I'm very done with Christmas now and I'm looking forward to like the new year coming about and I want the new year to be like free from Christmas. <laughs> so I want to get rid of it before the new year comes around. So I am gonna do that and then hopefully later I will get to do some reading. Okay, so that took longer than I had anticipated, but I've now cleaned up and removed most of my Christmas decorations and, you know, my apartment looks back to normal, which feels very nice. That means, though, that I can finally get to the book that I'm currently reading and currently really, really enjoying. Now, if you don't know, this is the third and final book in the Winter Night trilogy. The first book is The Bear and the Nightingale. And these are like super wintry books and they're perfect to read when it's winter. And it's basically like historical fiction, fantasy, and it's set in this... It's set in historical Russia and it's about this girl who can see like spirits and there's like a whole spirit realm and... I mean, there's a lot going on in these books. <laughs> Basically, this girl is a witch and she can see things that other people can't and she has abilities that other people don't have. And in this historical period, there's a lot of religion coming into the picture. And so people are like forgetting the old ways, which has an effect on the spirits and they like start fading and stuff. And the whole 
point of the series, I guess, is to sort of avoid them fading away. And then there's also like two beings, like super powerful beings that are brothers. One is the King of Winter and the other one is called the Bear. And the Bear is evil and the King of Winter is also kind of like Nyeh. But she comes into contact with him and yeah. <laughs> I'm probably not explaining it very well but I love the series. It's one of my favorite trilogies and I've read the two others two winters in a row and then I skipped a winter and now I'm finishing it. And I kind of don't want to finish it because I don't want it to be over but I also just want to read it when it's winter and so I just have to do it. Like I mentioned I'm really enjoying this so far. I feel like I got like a comment or I read somewhere, I saw it somewhere, that someone said that the third book, like this one, is not as good as the other two books. I'm not noticing that so far, but it's been a while since I read the first two. But for me this feels very similar in tone. I felt like the minute I started reading it I was like back into it. The only thing that I sort of noticed in the beginning is that there's a creature <laughs> that's let loose in the beginning of the book-ish and I was a little bit surprised by how easy that felt and it felt a little bit convenient but I feel like we're getting a good explanation of it. There is also something in the beginning of this book that made me, it didn't make me want to stop reading but I had to put the book down for a while because it was so sad. So, I don't know. I feel like it's just... To me it's not that different. It feels very much the same as the other books. It might even feel more magical because there is... Like she goes to this magical place that is very different and interesting. And at the part where I am, she's still there. I realize this is very vague, but I also don't want to give it away. But she's in like a different realm. And, you know... I don't know. So far I really like it. I don't know if that's just one comment that said that or if that's like what most people feel that it doesn't do as well in the third book but for me it's doing a lot. I also feel like this is a good way to end the year because this will be my final book of the year I'm pretty sure and this will probably be my final reading vlog of the year and I just feel like it's nice to end a not great reading year on what so far is going to be a high, I think. Maybe it'll like disappoint me at the end, but I very much doubt it. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and actually get to reading. I had actually planned today to go out for a walk just to get out a little bit, but it's so slippery <laughs> here. This has been like a problem for the past two, three days where it's like the snow that was here melted and then it froze over and then it melted and then it froze over. Which creates a lot of problems for both pedestrians and traffic and I just don't want to deal with it so I think I'm gonna skip the walk, maybe go for it later, but honestly I just want to stay inside and read. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It really hasn't been that long, it's been like 20 minutes, but I did manage to read for those 20 minutes. I read two chapters I think, one of which contained a little bit of steam which I enjoyed and yeah honestly I'm just hungry so I need to eat something. I don't really know what I want to eat though. I'm a little bit over the Christmas food. I love Christmas food. It's like one of my favorite parts about Christmas but it's very heavy food and so once you've eaten it for like three days you're kind of, or at least for me, I'm kind of over it. But I did get some leftovers from my dad when I left his house and I should probably use those. There are several different dishes that you can eat for Christmas in Norway and I like both of like the main ones that you get in this part of the country. But this year we ate like the one that's pork and it's like ribs and you get like a big slab of it and you cook it basically. And my dad gave me a pretty big chunk of that that I should use for something. I think I might just look up some leftover recipes and see if I can figure it out. I think maybe 
doing a slight Asian twist on it could work because they use that kind of meat in a lot of Asian dishes. So we'll, we'll make something that will in all likelihood taste at least all right. <laughs> all right, so I have figured out what I'm gonna do. I have some of these like bread thingies that I am going to stuff basically. And this is like the leftover stuff that I got from my dad. I'm gonna cut this up into pieces and fry it up. And then I'm gonna use some carrots, some cucumber because this is what I have. And then we're just gonna put like some sauces on it. I know that these taste good, so I'm just gonna, you know, mash it all together and I think it'll be delicious. I have made something like this before, very similar, but with a different kind of bread and some other vegetables, and I made it with chicken. But I think that this is gonna work as well. If not, I'll just dunk everything in this, and it'll taste really good. Alright, so I am gonna call it a night because it is in fact night <laughs> and I managed to read quite a lot more in this. I maybe read in total like 80 pages so I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like we're at the very beginning of the end here and so I'm gonna take it with me to bed and see how far I can get. I feel like this might be one of those books that I'm gonna <laughs> stay up late finishing but We'll see. I'm still really enjoying it. They're sort of at the point now where they're, I'm assuming they're heading for the final battle or there's like a war looming and that's what they're headed towards, our main characters. And I'm interested to see how it's gonna end. Hopefully they will all be happy and healthy and fine, but based on some of the other stuff that's happened in these books, I don't know if that's gonna be the case. It does feel like a good book to end the year with though, so I'm happy with that. I already think I know what the first book I'm gonna read in 2023. I'm pretty sure I know what that's gonna be. It's gonna be the next book in the Thursday Murder Club series, which I wanted to read in December and then I just didn't have time or whatever. My reading is just going very slowly, so I'm only reading so much these days and I chose to read this first but I feel like it's a good book to end the year with. It's a good book all around. I'm still really enjoying it. I think it's really good and I don't know if I really feel like it's better or worse than any of the other two books. I think the first one is still my favorite but I think this is going to be 
a very good end to the series, although I'm saying that having not finished it yet. <laughs> that is going to be it for me today though. I had a weirdly productive day even though it feels like I haven't done anything. <laughs> but I'm happy with getting all of my Christmas decorations out of the apartment and just like cleaning up a little bit and I managed to do some reading and it's all good. This is going to be the last reading vlog of the year. I know it was very chill and low-key but that's just how it is sometimes. I kind of like low-key vlogs where not a lot happens. It's very <laughs> relaxing to have on in the background, but I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but hopefully you do. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I don't know if this is going to be the last video this year because I have like four videos that I want to get up <laughs> soon. I haven't filmed them yet, so we'll see when I get around to that, but I do have some time off these days, so these days. I have time off until like January 2nd, so I should be able to film some more stuff. But yeah, you'll see that when you see it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for hanging out with me as always, and I will see you soon. Bye!